called a bubble stitch. Well, I don't know what it's called. I, 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 I just put it in bubble stitch because I have no idea what it's called. So, but it looks like bubbles. So, there you go. So, it has to be a multiple of four plus three. So, I'm using a, a number five uh, yarn, which is chunky. And I am using a ten and a half knitting needles just for the purpose of showing you how it's done. Use the, your needles depending on the yarn, what the yarn calls for. So it has to be a multiple of 4 plus 3, so I have 23. 20, which is a multiple of 4, plus the 3. So this is the way it's done. Of course, you, you cast on your 23 stitches. And on row 1, you immediately start with your stitch. So this would be the row 1. So you are going to knit 3, 1, Two, three, and purl one. And that's the whole row. One, two, three knits, and purl one. And do that the whole row, and I'll see you at the end of the row. So I end with my knit three. So it is knit 3, purl 1, knit 3, purl 1, knit 3, purl 1, and with knit 3. So on row number 2, you're going to do how the stitch shows. That means you're going to purl 3, 1, 2, 3, and you're going to knit 1. And purl 3 and knit 1, the whole row, and you're going to end with purl 3. So, one, two, three, and knit one. One, two, three, and knit one. And you're going to do these two rows until you're on row number seven. You're going to end with row number seven. That means these are row number one and number two you're going to do row number one which is knit three per one knit three per one knit three per one and with knit three and row number two which is pearl three knit one pearl three knit one pearl three knit one and you end with pearl three so i will see you at the end of row number seven in a little bit so you keep repeating yes, the same you repeat. pattern. You repeat one and two. Yes, and you're going to end with row number seven. I'm finishing row number seven, and please note that row number one, three, five, and seven are done on the right side, which is this one, and row two, four, six, and eight are done on the wrong side. So this is row number seven, which is in the right side, and I end with my knit three. So this is the way, This I'm going to start row number eight. I just finished row number seven, which is on the right side, and this is the row in which you do all your magic. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to purl three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to leave my needles there and I am going to pick up that first, see that line there, I'm going to pick up my first V there which is this chain here and your first chain that you see there. I'm going to put my crochet hook there and I am going to let go of that stitch and I'm going to let them go I'm going to let all these rows go on that stitch let's get them all out of there and there we go so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to hold on to my yarn my working yarn I am going to pass my hook all the way in the back 
of my stitches, pick up my working yarn, pass it through that loop. So it's going to be hugging all those stitches. Do your, your chain, pass it through, and now I am going to put that stitch back in my working yarn and my working needle. So that one there. So I am going to come back and I'm going to repeat this several times. That's why I have so many stitches. So I'm going to purl three, leave my needles there, pick up that stitch right there, the first one on the sequence of knits on this side. Let go of that one. Bring all your, take off all these. Now, this is my working yarn. Let's put it right there. I am going to pass my hook in the back of all those ladders. Pass it through. And do your chain. Now you can put it back on your needle. There you go. Now of course I'm going to do three pearls again. That's one, two, three. I'm going to put my hook on the first one, right there on that first loop. Let go of all my stitches of all my, that stitch all the way down, that's what I mean. So, all the way down. See, because this is a little bit hooked. There we go. So, I'm going to pass my crochet hook all the way up. Pick up my working yarn. Pass it through. And make your chain. Now I'm going to put it on my working needle and now I'm going to purl three more. That's one, two, three. So let's repeat this. It goes all the way down to that one there. And then, of course, I grab my working yarn, go in the back of your stitches, pick up your working yarn, pass it through, make your chain, and put it back on your working needle on the right hand. So now I go one, two, three pearls. And I go and put my hook on the last one on that chain there. Let go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's my working yarn. Pass it through the bag. Make your chain. And put it on your needle. And then I have my last three pearls. One, two, three. So now we're, since this, these are alternated, there's my new bubbles, there they are, but they're alternated, see? So now on this row, which is row number nine, you're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five, and purl one. Knit three, one, two, three, and purl one. Knit three, one, two, three, and purl one. One, two, 
three and pro one. And now we have the last five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to follow the same sequence, Net3 Pro 3, but since I want it alternated, I need to have five stitches on each side. So like that I can make my bubble in the middle of these two. So now I, on row number 10, I am going to purl five. One, two, three, four, five, and knit one. And purl three. One, two, three, and knit one. And purl three. One, two, three, and knit one, and purl three, one, two, three, and knit one, and purl three, and knit one. It was five on the last yes, one. It was five on the last one. Thank you for paying attention, Anna. It's pro five. <laughs> <laughs> and so pro five. One, two, three, four, five. So now we're going to repeat these two rows, and which is knit 5 pro 1, knit 3 pro 1, knit 3 pro 1, knit 3 pro 1 and with knit 5 and then the row on the back of your work would be pro 5 knit 1, pro 3 knit 1, pro 3 knit 1, pro 3 knit 1, pro 5 at the end. So of course you can repeat this as wide as you want it as long as you have your 5 at each end. So I'm going to see you when I'm back on row number 16 because we're going to repeat this two more times these two rows two more times and I and then I end with the right row and then on row 16 we do the magic again so I'm finishing row number 15 here are my five knits so now this is row number 16 and you can you can tell which row you're at because we did our magic on the last time on row number eight. So that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You can count them here. So let's do our pearl five. One, two, three, four, five, and we do the same thing as what we did on row number eight we're going to let go pick up that one let go of all these so every time you find your your right your, your knit stitch you're going to do this so you pass your yarn through the back and make your chain up and put it on your needle and of course now we're going to do three pearls and do that one two three and we do that again we put our crochet hook there and I will see you when I finish this row but it's the same once you let go I'm ending my row with my pro 5 and you're done you repeat these 16 rows this is the way it looks look how pretty that becomes very very nice and of course you end with the on this row after this magic row you can bind off like that you have your full bubble and you're done
Look how pretty that looks. And thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and like us. And uh, I will be seeing you soon. Tell your friends about us and make some comments. Thank you.